Welcome to Mossback Ridge Winery, where every day is a celebration. Located in the tranquil hills of Joe Davis County, this winery has been crafting estate-grown wines since 2003. This 18-acre vineyard boasts an array of wines to pair with your palate. From full-bodied Frontenac blends to semi-dry white St. Pepin grown right here, Mossback Ridge Winery gives you a taste of this area's beauty. I'm Mark, your name is? I'm Peggy Harmston. It is a pleasure to meet you, Peggy. We love to have people come here and discover our wines that we grow right here in Genevieve's County. So excited. All right, well, let's, let's hop right into it. Walk along here. Uh, these are some, some younger vines that uh, we have established with a beautiful, beautiful crop growing for our 2015 uh, vintage. When will this these be ready? It's, it's July right now, so when mm -hmm. will these be ready to pluck and do whatever you do? These are gonna start swelling and softening in about a month or so. These, this is a white grape, so it'll turn a little amber color. And uh, harvest is about 1st of September. We'll probably harvest these, hopefully, around Labor Day weekend. How many varieties do you have total? We have eight varieties. Eight varieties, and how many wines does that make? We have 15, 16 wines on our wine list right now. I'm doing this the math is, here, eight goes yeah, into 16, well, so you're doing blends. And we're doing like blends, okay. we'll even uh, pick at different times for different styles of wine. This is a, a St. Pepin grape. This is my favorite grape and one of my favorite wines. We'll pick this and, and treat it differently for a dry oak aged white as well as for a semi-dry white uh, that we call St. Pepin, after, named after the grape. When, when we're reading the back of wine bottles and stuff, it'll say, you know, this has a hue of honey and you know, you know, whatever and perfume of the sea and stuff like that. What parts of Joe Davis County contribute to the flavor of the grape, do you find? We're finding that the grapes are happy right here in our microclimate of, mm -hmm. of Joe Davis County up here on the hill. And that's our job in the winery, is just is to keep, keep it happy. that way, keep them happy. Tell me about the visitor experience. Do they get mm -hmm. to come out here and walk the vineyards? Oh, sure. They're welcome to. All this is, is uh, for people to enjoy. Uh, what I really want people to do is enjoy the countryside. <laughs> Fluff it up. I know what I'm doing. I want people to enjoy the countryside yeah. and then enjoy the wine and, basically, and fall in love with the countryside and the wine. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's what we're about. It's the experience. And Come on and enjoy yourselves, enjoy each other. When they do do tours, you do group tours, you do personal tours, are they scheduled we're, or just very people informal. come in and be like, hey, show me the vineyard, let's go. We're very informal. Yeah. People want to be shown around. We're glad to walk them through the, the winery. Megan just gave a tour here about a half an hour ago to a couple and then and then they went for a nice little stroll hand in hand. So Mark, you enjoyed a sample of Mossback Reserve a little while ago. I very much did, very much. So, the 2014 vintage of Mossback Reserve is sitting here quietly. For how long? Waiting. This sits here at least a year. At least a year. Yeah, so at the end of this year, about Christmas time, we'll think about uh, racking that out of the barrels. and. Uh, is that based on taste? From... I mean, do you, do you pop a cork and, and taste it and be like, is this yes. ready? Is it not? You put it back. Right. Do you yeah. save a couple barrels or at least one barrel? You're like, let's just let this one go, man. I have not. We have some cases that we set back and they're kind of uh, buried in the stacks. You do? So yeah. you have some you're sitting on? We, we do have a, a, a gem, a treasure that we're sitting on, yeah. How old are they right now? We've opened some 2005 vintages and okay. uh, been and how is it? pretty happy with it, yes. That's and so the exciting. Wine, and the winemaking, we've been uh, at this 12 years now and our winemaking has is like, ooh, gotten a little bit better. That's what the name yeah. of the game is, right? To get a little bit better. So we're really excited about what these vintages are going to be like in 20 years from now. Absolutely. Now, are these charred on the inside? Yes. To contribute yes. to flavor. Okay. Correct. And what kind of wood is this? This is American oak from Missouri. Okay. Fresh barrels. You didn't like inherit these from another distillery. Fresh barrels. Fresh barrels. We Fresh can only barrels. use them for three or four five years for the flavor of the chard that you just mentioned. And you will reuse it. So after they, mm -hmm. after you mm -hmm. tank it, you'll yes, refill yes. it and start the next, the next years one. will come in. Man, it'll probably add some new barrels to the to the mix as well. Okay, so you're about to pop the cork on this bad boy. Mm -hmm. And this wine in here has been sitting in here for how long? This wine's been sitting in here for almost a year. Almost a year, okay. This is a wine thief. That's what it's called? This is what this is called. <laughs> fancy term, huh? What are you looking for as you are checking on this to see if it's ready? For the hue, I'm, I'm guessing that it has a brownish because it came from the top that we need to top these barrels. So it is uh, oxidizing just a little bit. So the color changes throughout, it's not a consistent blend throughout? No, 
So when no, you... so when we rack this, when we rack all of these several barrels into one tank, then we'll get a uh, more congruent flavor. Now this is a family run estate. Your, your winery is. Is the Mossback name, the family name? No, Mossback is a town right, uh, right next to the winery. It's a mm -hmm. town of five houses and a church. The people that settled in this area were from a town called Mossback, Germany, with very similar topography. Okay. So uh, it's, it's a neat, there's some history there, and uh, I've had people from Mossback, Germany come and enjoy our wines and take some back. Excellent. You know, it, so that name reminds me, I, <laughs> the guys in the production asked me to ask you, what is the Mossback Stomp? Well, the Mossback Stomp is, uh, we have a wine called Mossback Stomp. It's made from Concord grapes. Uh, we named our Concord uh, Mossback Stomp because my grandpa played the fiddle, the violin, down the street at the barn dances. Yeah. And uh, my mother remembers going and making fun of the guys stomping around. <laughs> so uh, we have a fiddle. A violin on the on the label in uh, in honor of Grandpa. And so, do people actually stomp on the grapes, just like an I Love Lucy? We do have some fun at the end of September <laughs> on a Saturday, last Saturday in September, when we're celebrating harvest being over. We leave some uh, grapes to be stomped. Shoes and socks and off, and spray them off, spray them off, kids. And you dance. Kids from you know five years old to 105 years old, come get your feet wet. And and, and what they stomp those those great special bottles that you put away, <laughs> the vintage bottles of stomp. Those are special labels. Yeah. <laughs> now you actually don't drink the wine, right? No, we don't. No, <laughs> all for fun. Say. All for fun. This has been a wonderful tour. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for coming. Mossback Ridge Winery offers personal and group tours. Just contact them to make arrangements. A visit to this winery is like a retreat, complete with a paired wine and new friends. Mm -hmm.